Okay. Yeah, and you know what? The 55th International Mathematical Olympia took place in Cape Town this past weekend, the very first time it was held in Africa. There were well over 500 students from over 120 countries around the world who tested their mathematical metal against some of the sharpest young minds on the planet. The International Mathematical Olympiad is considered one of the most challenging maths competitions worldwide. I mean, you can care, compare it to a World Cup, the World Cup of maths, if you will. However, that didn't stop 18-year-old Robin Fisser from getting a bronze medal, making him one of the world's top math students. He is joining us in studio. Dude, let me just shake your hand. A bronze medal. Welcome to Expresso, man. Thanks. How are you doing this morning? I mean, early. How are you feeling? I mean, you must be incredibly proud, not only because of your achievement, but also, you know, for your country as well. It's a big moment. Bronze medal. How are you doing? Yes, I'm doing very well, thank you. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, getting a medal, it's a great achievement for me. I think it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. So, what was your aim? I mean, obviously, uh, going into this competition, you earned a bronze medal. Now, now just explain to our viewers, I'll say, it doesn't mean that you came third overall. How does it work exactly? So, uh, there's a number of contestants that take part, and roughly the top half of contestants get a medal. And in the medals, bronze, silver, gold are distributed in the ratio of 3 to 2 to 1, amongst okay. the 12th top half. So if you're in the top half, you get at least bronze, the top quarter, you get at least silver, silver. and in the top 12th of contestants, you get gold. Get gold. Wow. But nonetheless, I mean, fantastic. I mean, you, you did incredibly well, but this is not your first time taking part. Three times you took part in the IMO. Um, you've also taken part in the South African Mathematical Olympiad for two consecutive years, coming first and fourth, respectively. Yes. Um, what is it about Olympiads that, that you enjoy, that you love, that keeps you coming back? Yes. Well, Olympiads, they, they're very different from your normal school curriculum. I mean, they have problems which uh, test creativity, test crea inspiration. Mm. I mean, you need different techniques, different ways of solving the problem. So it's, it's not just like you have a problem and then, you know, there's a specific routine method to solve it. You yeah. need to think out of the box. I mean, there's many things. I mean, it, it's not something which uh, you can just sort of train, let's yeah. use these techniques, let's solve these problems in these ways. I um, wanted to ask you, yeah. yeah. So, so it's not really about just following a formula. You need to no, think ahead here a little yeah. bit. That is incredible. Um, you were part of a team of six uh, going into the IMO. What was it like being, uh, you know, part of a team? The team aspect, also competing with with so many so many different students from over 100 countries. I mean, it must have been quite nerve wracking in the end. <laughs> yes, it was. It was a bit nervous, but I mean, it was great to meet people from so many different countries. You get to see different cultures. Mm. Um, and in terms of the mathematics, you get to see how different people solve problems from different techniques, from, from different perspectives. You get to see how others look at problems. Mm. Now, talking about those, solving those problems, um, talk to, take me through the two papers that you've written. I mean, in, in all honesty, honesty, how challenging were they? They, they were pretty challenging. They, they were quite challenging. I mean, there's two papers over two days. So the first paper, it's just three questions. You get four and a half hours to solve. Three questions for four and a half hours? Yes. I can't, I can't even imagine what <laughs> so, that question yeah. would be like. I mean, it, it just shows how difficult the problems are. It's, yeah. it, it requires a lot of time to solve. Um, and, that's, and that's for both, both days, four and a half hours each. So, you, I mean, nine hours, you're doing math. Um, so, yeah, the problems, they, the first ones, they're quite simple, they're pretty easy, but then uh, the, the last one is very challenging. I mean, yeah. not many contestants are managed, managed to crack yeah. them. Was there at any point where you felt, okay, a little bit of panic setting in right now? Um, or were you kind of cool, calm, collective the whole time? Yeah, at the beginning I was a little bit nervous, but once I started getting into the papers, I mean, I started looking at the problems, solving them, then I yeah. felt a bit more at ease. Dude, once again, we're so proud of you. Just a quick note, what would you say to students out there in terms of, uh, you know, trying to really up their math skills in this country? Because it is such an important subject. Yes, yes it is. I think dedication and hard work, perseverance, I mean, there, there, is a, there really isn't any shortcut for it. You have to just be able to work hard and be able to, to be focused and determined on what you're doing. And if you do that, you'll be able to excel at that. Brilliant. Robin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I think we all applaud you here at the Expresso Studio, also all across South Africa. You did us super, super sure. proud. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to take part in the next one as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Robin Fisser joining us this morning. He received a bronze medal in the 55th International Mathematical Olympiad that wrapped up here in Cape Town this past weekend. And we are very, very proud of him. He's flying our South African flag very, very high as well. We're going to take